This video is a free lesson from my full masterclass called Modern Riff Mastery where I go really deep into detail on how to make MIDI guitars sound realistic. I hope you dig it. So I have this chord progression with a drum loop right here. And let's just try to make a simple guitar solo. Uh, this is in D minor. So really what I like to do is just I just kind of throw random notes that are in that scale. Like, let's try the minor second. And it's really hard to really like pick apart my process for writing these guitar solos because really all it is is just kind of going by ear and placing notes from the scale and then changing up the rhythms of them and just trying to get the emotion across with the notes. So I guess it would help if we imagine this song as this is right after a emotional chorus and we're trying to pick up that emotion and exaggerate it from the chorus. <laughs> This is starting to sound similar to Sweet Child of Mine <laughs> solo, so a lot of guitar solos seem to be like staying in one octave or one range for a while, and then to peak up the emotion a little bit, they like go an octave higher. And go like a little bit faster also. And I'm gonna just keep mentioning tips as I think of them. So another thing you can do is you, you have this like little motif. The da -na 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 -na. And then you just do that same exact rhythm, but then you just, you change the notes a little bit. Okay, so now we have our guitar riff written out. Now let's make it sound realistic. So first, just like with everything else, we're gonna randomize the velocities a little bit. Especially whenever we have the same note repeating. That's that's when it's really important to get the velocities right. Okay, so now we've got our velocities mapped out a little better. That's already giving it a sense of realism. Now we need to do some articulations, like here. We have some hammer-ons and pull-offs. So I'm just gonna copy that MIDI and bring it down to the key switch area. Now we've got the basic articulations, the basic volume. Now we need to start adding some flair to it. So we can do that by doing these slide fast to down, slide fast from down, slide fast from up. And there's just a bunch of different ones. What I like to do is just kind of play around with it without like really looking at what I'm doing. So we know that it's just from basically C0 to G0. So C to G0 is gonna be our like slide area. So let's just go in there and start placing stuff down, you know, figure it out as we go. So I feel like in the beginning, that's the most important time for some type of slide. Oh, that sounded pretty cool. Yeah, I like how that sounds. And then we could have a slide on the second time it comes around. Now nah, that sounds too robotic. That changed the note, but it actually does sound cool. So let's actually have that last one just sustain. Maybe we can turn it into a pinch harmonic. And let's see if there's any other areas where we could add a pinch harmonic. Yeah, maybe that second one, instead of being a slide, maybe that could be a pinch harmonic. Nope. Yeah, pinch harmonics are one of those things where it's like, you've really got to sprinkle it in there. Okay, so now that we have our basic articulations down, now we need to really spice this up and give it as much expression as possible. So the way that I'm going to do that is by going into this playing tab on the Odin. We can do force vibrato, and we can change the amount of the vibrato, which sounds, you know, all the way up is this. And we can change the speed. So what I'm going to do is create an automation clip for the vibrato amplitude and the speed. So in FL Studio, the way you do that is just you mess with the parameter and then you go to tools, last tweaked, and create automation clip. And then we'll do that for the speed as well. And because their vibrato does sound kind of fake, we have to use it very sparingly. 
So I'm thinking that second note that comes in, that's a really good spot for some vibrato. Another thing you can do also is automate it over time. So it's not just all of a sudden super vibrato-y. Maybe let's increase the speed a little bit too. And I think we could have a little bit of vibrato in the second time that note comes around. That might make it sound a little less static. And I think just a tiny bit of vibrato on those sustained ones where it's doing the same note, I think will help a lot. And we could even do every other note has more vibrato. So it goes like kind of back and forth like this. Oh, and then another good one is after, right after that hammer on pull off. Oh, and then some vibrato on the pinch harmonic. That can sound really good. And that's just a few different things that you can do. You can really do all kinds of things like with this. Like you can start adding harmonies to it. And uh, matter of fact, let's let's add a harmony to this second part of the solo. So I can just show you what that would look like in practice. Uh, this is like one of those times where I would probably use the DI and use another another guitar. But um, for demonstration purposes, we ain't got to do all that. So I'm just going to copy the MIDI from the original solo. And then a good rule of thumb is fifths and thirds are always going to sound good with the harmony. I'd like to do the seconds and just try different things out. But, you know, when in doubt, just use the third, bruh, or the fifth. So we're just going to bring this all down to starting from A instead of starting at D. But I don't know, that sounds kind of like a computer. So let's let's try the third. And the only thing with that is you got to fix all the notes that like get out of key. And then what I would do is I would edit these velocities to be a little bit different. So that way it has a little bit of separation. And it's not perfect, but it already sounds a lot better. But we could uh, change the pickup on this bridge. Add in some extra humaniz humanization. Is that a word? And yeah, it's not perfect, but that's like a really good starting point. And if you wrote like a better solo, there's, you know, the possibilities are endless.